Hey, my name is Amira and welcome back to my channel. I'm refilming this intro because I just need to give you guys a heads up. This is a long video and it is insanely snack worthy. It is like the most insane, amazing video I've ever made. I've never had an announcement as insane and crazy as this. So go grab some snacks, make yourselves comfortable. It is a long one, but I want you to really see why I want to explain it really well and I don't want to leave anything out. So yeah, okay, let's let's go. I have a favorite brush set with Sigma. They reached out a few months ago to ask if I wanted to create my favorite, ultimate favorite Amiya May collection for you guys and I had to say yes. I literally had to say yes. Maximum a month before that email came out to me, I was doing Steph's makeup and I was saying, you know, if I had a favorite brush set with Sigma, I'd put this in it and I'd put that in it. These are my absolute favorite brushes from Sigma. I put so much thought into creating this perfect set that absolutely everyone could cherish and benefit from in some way. I've chosen some of the most unique brushes that aren't really in any other sets and you know, just so different to what the norm is. So if you already have a bunch of brushes from Sigma or even other makeup brushes from other brands, these are still gonna be different and they're not gonna be anything that you already have. And if you don't have any makeup brushes and you wanna get your first set, these are going to work for you as well because they're so, so, so multi-purpose. So before we jump into the brushes, I did just wanna also say that when you are watching this video today on YouTube, as of now, the brushes will be live. It will be the first link in my bio down there, so, feel free to go check them out. Um, if you go on your own to Sigma's website, they are with the normal brush sets. There's like a tab under the featured bit and it's influencer sets. So if you go looking in the normal brush sets, you shouldn't, like I don't think it will actually show up. So go to influencer sets if you want or just click the link down there and it'll take you straight to them. And on my page as well, you know how it comes up with like recommended products down the bottom. I've picked out some of my other favorite products from Sigma. So if you want to add a couple extras on and want some suggestions of what my faves are, I've linked them there as well. My favorites will show up on the same page. If you are within the US, this brush set will automatically push you over to free shipping if you are international you'll either need to you know like split an order if you and a friend want to get a brush set you know just order them together or feel free to pick up a couple extras other than that the shipping isn't that crazy expensive either for international I think it's like $12 so it's not too much but I always love to just spend extra and get free shipping because I just I love free shipping it's just the best okay I think that is enough talking let's jump into the actual brushes in this set so I kept one set all nice and new and clean to show you guys and I've got my other ones that I've been using on this face. So of course we have the box with my face on it, my little signature, love the holographic up here, even like the barcode on the back has my name on it which is just so cool, a me and my favorites brush set. Uh, I just... Even getting this picture was like so much thought into having this hot pink background um, because you know Sigma has like the black and the like silver but then they also have like hot pink in some of their imagery. I just wanted it to like really kind of incorporate into them and their brand. You guys have seen me use Sigma for years and years and years and for like the last two years I pretty much haven't used any other brushes. Maybe like occasionally here or there or if I'm you know trying a new brand and they're brushes like come included with whatever you're getting like I might try it for that but I pretty much stick to Sigma because I love them and they support me and then like clearly they support me by giving me this opportunity so let's run you through them this is the 3D HD Max Kabuki brush from Sigma I actually don't think that this brush is available in any other Sigma brush sets and it is my favorite of their foundation brushes. The value of my brush set is 20% off. So this is the cheapest you're gonna be able to ever get this brush. It's just my favorite. It's so, so multi-purpose. The shape is so unique. Even compared to their normal, um, 
3D HD brush. It's just that bit bigger, a bit more flexible. I just love it. It's so fast to put on my foundation. I love to go over the top with a sponge. I won't lie. I am a sponge person. This foundation brush works especially well for thicker foundations that you need something a bit denser to kind of spread it around. Or if I'm mixing up um, a foundation with some illuminated drops or two different shades of a foundation, it works better to kind of spread and diffuse and mix that around if I don't want to like mix it on the back of my hand and stain the back of my hand. I just... I adore this brush. It also works so well for every single cream product. This unique shape with that little point, you can get under the eyes, blend concealer, you can blend it down on the other spots of your face, you can blend cream bronzer, cream contour, cream blush, cream highlight. You can use it to bake if you like as well with this shape. I don't usually do that one, but you can do so, so, so much with this brush and it's gonna last you forever as well. So. That's why I know I was kind of on the fence. Should I include my favorite 3D HD blender sponge or should I include this brush? And the brush is gonna last forever. The sponge is gonna to need to be replaced and the sponge is, you know, pretty cheap anyway. And you can use any beauty sponge really. Whereas this brush is just my favorite, favorite Kabuki brush of all time. So this is the Spotlight Duster F37. It is my all time favorite, favorite makeup brush of all brands. It's just so, so universal. If I am packing a little bag for touch-ups, this will be the brush that is in there. I remember the first time I saw it, I already had some Sigma brushes, but I didn't have that one. And I saw someone using it, so I ordered one straight away for myself. So I've got a couple here. And then a little while later, Sigma, um, I got like a gift voucher for Sigma for working with them. and. I picked up another one and now I got myself another one it's just it's so 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 universal I don't have anything like it I have ones that look similar don't perform like it they're a little bit too flimsy or a little bit too firm this one's just so perfectly in between it has like these tapered sides and it's just perfectly symmetrical and it just picks up the perfect sheer amount of powder. If you have dry skin like me, you can sheerly powder your face with it. You can use it to dust away bake. You can use it to set under your eyes if you like as well. You can use it to do your bronzer, your blush. You can use it to do your body highlighter, bronzer, all of those things. It's just so incredibly universal and I just... I just adore this brush. It just works so, so well. If the brush set is out of your price range or you just, you know, don't want to get all of the brushes, this one, the F37, is just the best, most versatile brush. Really, if I had, like, a blender sponge or something or even the cream products you can do with your fingers if you have to at a pinch, this brush will just do all of the extra powders for you that you need and it just works so, so well. I just, I love and adore this brush and if you use my code Amia May or any other person that you like, any affiliate code, you can get 10% off their brushes. So if you want to get the individual ones, you can definitely use that just to get this one. It is probably just my favorite one of all time. So I've just grabbed a couple other powder brushes just so I can kind of quickly compare for you why I love this one. So, all right. A lot of people who already have brushes from Sigma, you probably already have these two, which is why neither of them were included. You can see very different shapes there. This one, again, does those cheek products, but it cracks on a lot more products. So way back in the day when makeup wasn't as pigmented, that brush would be really good for you. But, you know, makeup is just so much more pigmented now. So you, that is going to pack on way too much for a lot of products if you don't know what you're doing. So it's not quite as user-friendly if you're using stuff that's really pigmented. Um, something like this, the F30 brush, it's just like to really densely pack on powder all over the face, but I can't really use it to do anything else. Um, so while it's a good brush that I do use, like I do use all his brushes, it's just, you know, this one can do everything for me as well. This is the F10 blush brush. Again, it's just a bit bigger, it's a bit denser, so it just it's gonna pack on more products. And this one, just being that sheer, it just kind of does everything exactly how I want every time. And I can build up color with this if I want, whereas the other ones just pack it on a bit more densely. So this just, 
I just love it guys. <laughs> that brush was non-negotiable in this set. It had to be in there. So this is the F03 High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. It's kind of duo fiber. It's a bit domed. It's flatter on this side. And you can see it's like skinny here, wider here. It's just like domed around the edges. When I first got this, I was like, eh, is it gonna be that great? I don't know. I, I just absolutely adore it though, now that I use it. I have some highlighters, they just don't show up on my cheekbones. Use this brush, bam, it is showing up. It is so intense, but just how these edges kind of come down and a little bit more tapered means that even though you get that intense highlight on your cheekbone, or I use it to do cheekbone, under my brow bone, up on my forehead, <laughs> Um, little lip nose down the center of my nose as well as the tip like I can do that But with those tapered edges it leaves it intense, but it doesn't look like a stripe It still just kind of blends the edges out for you, but you still have all the intensity right where you want it and it just Disappears into the rest of your skin. I love it. This one I do also use to do a little bit of contouring with as well just to keep it nice and tight I can use it as well to just spot powder certain areas. You can use it to set under your eyes. So this brush is multi-purpose, but my main love for it is highlight. The other ones, you know, I love it for lots of different things. This one I love for highlight, but you know, I wanted to find some other ways to use it as well. So if you don't have a lot of other brushes, yeah, you can still definitely use this one for more than just highlight. <laughs> then we have two eye brushes. So we have the Taper Blending E35 brush, which is just a domed tapered blending brush. It's just beautiful. I feel like the most common brushes are just like your E40s or ones kind of like that. And this one's just like a little bit like just a smidge smaller, but I feel like it just fluffs out a little bit more as I use it, just to create like a really nice, um, like dome tapered bits to the sides. And then the E25 is just like another one that everyone kind of already has, where it's like flatter on the side and like more fluffy through the center. Um, so this one, I just didn't think a lot of people already have, like I never see people talking about this brush and it is kind of my go-to when I'm doing an eye makeup look. This is the first one that I kind of grab. So it just had to be in there. And then this one is the E70 medium angled shading brush. I got the little travel one ages ago. I, you know, got this one. I think it's free. I picked it out because I just thought it looked so cool, so unique. And just this shape of this, as it's like a flat shader brush, but it's kind of like out to the side, but it's like a little bit fluffy too. So I found that it's so good for the outer corner of my eye, like packing on that darker shade there. When I was looking through my other brushes, when I was trying to figure out like, what other eye brush is really, really versatile that, you know, isn't the E25 that everyone already kind of has, what, what can I use in there? And this is the one that just really stood out to me with this unique shape and feel to it. I don't have anything else like it in my collection. Having that pointed tip means you can use it to highlight the inner corner of the eyes. It just applies your color perfectly to the outer corner. You can flip it and you can create your halo eye. You can use it underneath your lash line. If you wanted as well, I don't show this in the video, but it's just like that nice density, nice small size where you could use it to contour your nose as well. It's just so versatile. Oh yeah, highlight your brow bone. Like they're just so insanely versatile. I know everyone always says like, you know, I put a lot of thought into this. I genuinely put so much thought into this. There were other brushes that I wanted to include as well, but I started using these ones. Like I narrowed it down and I started using these ones in some different ways as well. So that's where I created, like I found even more ways to use these brushes than what I already was doing. And I thought, yep, these brushes are the ones I have to have in my set. I'm not one of those people who's like comfortable just crying on camera. So I'm sorry, I just have to keep stopping and adjusting myself. If I could go back one year and tell myself, you know, 2018 is gonna be better. You're gonna be working with brands on a level that you can't even imagine. I feel like, you know, all of that pain and stuff, it just would have been, you know, it would have been so much easier to work through. But, you know, unfortunately that's not how life works. But, just knowing that pushing through this is what I've got now at the other end is just so insane. <laughs> I can't anymore. I just can't. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you so much for this opportunity. 
it's just <laughs> let's jump into the video so we're gonna start with primer this is my favorite one the coconut skin smoothie primer from first aid beauty you can use your fingers or you can use a brush if you like to use a brush you can definitely use the kabuki brush let's go ahead and do that i like because it's so big and like flexy i can just kind of like pat it with one side turn it with the other and it just kind of like quickly spreads it everywhere. This one's really gentle, so I'm gonna pop it around my eyes as well for a bit of hydration. I'm gonna pop a little bit of my corrector on just around my eyes because I wanna look really nice and bright. You can definitely take the brush for your concealer and because it's like got the weird, all the different edges, you can use that edge bit to get like right up under the eye if you like to use a brush for your concealers and I mean, Flawless. If you guys do watch my videos, you know I generally prefer to use a sponge though. So I feel like with all of the brushes and a sponge, I can comfortably do, you know, my full face of makeup and, you know, if I really want it, I can use some other brushes as well, but I don't really have to. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I have the shade Y315. I usually use 305, but I spray tan this week because I had a few events on and I was too lazy to tan myself. And this one's just a little bit darker for me. Now I'm just going to uh, yeah, just kind of pop it everywhere. So it's just one of my favorite foundations. It's just like a fail safe. It always works well for me. I adore it two pieces. So I'm definitely going to be taking my 3D HD Max Kabuki for this. And since it has the two sides, I'm going to buff it and spread it around with one. And then once it's like pretty much everywhere, I'm just going to kind of diffuse it over with the clean side just to get rid of any excess product, just to kind of like smooth it into the face. Um, this is the flat angle Kabuki. So you can see it's so much bigger. So unless you do have a really, really small face, this is going to be a lot faster for you as well, just to kind of spread it everywhere. So I'm kind of just like, I mean, it looks like I'm dragging, but I am just patting and I'm more like flicking my wrist to make it like pat into my skin. Um, it just spreads it out really quickly. I usually do use a sponge for my makeup and I find that I do get a fuller coverage as well going in with a brush. Also, brushes last forever. Sponges have to be replaced. So I really wanted to include a brush that was super good value. I know not everyone is like me. Even if I do use a brush so you can see like, oh, I mean, it's blended so nicely into my skin. I'm just like one of those paranoid kind of people who like to be extra careful. So that's when I do just go over with my damp sponge as well, just to make sure it's all melted into the skin, especially if you are on the dry side. I just think it looks a little bit more, you know, I'm all about the skin. That's why we've got three face brushes. I love, love, love a glowing complexion, skin that looks like skin, I just, can't help it guys, I love it, I love it, I love it. I can go back in with the brush on the side with more product and kind of like pat it into the skin as well without having to actually physically get out more product. For concealer, we're using the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I have the shade Light Warm. I really like this concealer. I'm just used to like the bigger wand of Shape Tape, but other than that, like the actual formula is really, really nice. I think that, yeah, Shape Tape's wand ruined me for everything else though because everything that just feels so little in comparison. Skin's actually not too bad. I usually get eczema around here, so that's why I put a little extra concealer there. I don't know how well it shows on camera, so it goes like this to a point here, and then again, like the kind of points on the side, like if you spread it out, and see how well it fits there just to like blend all of that up and out. Again, eyelid, buff him out. And then again, just with the sponge, just to make everything melt into the skin and be as seamless as possible. So I'm just applying my favorite contour stick, Hoola Quickie Contour from Benefit, my fave. And again, we are using the 3D HD Max Kabuki. Just this size and the shape just makes it so, so, so versatile. And I haven't seen it in any other Sigma sets. You can use it for absolutely every cream product if you like, which is why it's so good. But yeah, look how quickly it blends my double chins away. <laughs> Since we've got the point and we've got the two edges, I feel like if you just tap it, it blends your contour flawlessly. I use this brush actually in my cream base 
favorite products that I put up not too long ago. I use this to do all of them, like the contour, um, bronzer, blush, highlight. I use it for everything. So I will link that below as well so you can see even more in depth how to use it for everything. Cream blush next. This is Nude Sticks Nudies in Bareback. And since there's a bit of foundation on the brush, it just pats and melts right into the skin. I'm gonna take some cream highlighter. I just wanna show you all the ways to use these brushes. So I'm probably gonna end up with so much makeup on. Uh, this is Champagne Flash from Hourglass. Hit all the high points that you like. You can even hit the tops of the shoulders if you like. And I'm gonna go with, cause there's a side that has again more foundation in it, remember, and one with less. I'm gonna go with the one with less. And we're just gonna kind of fluff it into the skin. Your skin looks so glowy. It's big enough to use on the body as well. And obviously I've got a high neck, but you could do your body oils here as well with that if you like. If you don't like using product on your brush, like if you're using it for foundation, then using it for bronzer, then using it for whatever, and you don't want them to all mix together, I personally like it because it makes everything look a bit more seamless. But you can use something like a face halo just to like take off the excess product in between each step. Personally, I don't do that for the foundation brush. I do it with some of the eye brushes and the other cheek brush, but for this one, I love everything to just melt together seamlessly. Take my baking powder by KKW, and we're gonna use this with a damp sponge to set under our eyes and bake just a little bit. Now, if you don't like to bake, you can use the high cheekbone highlighter from my set, the F03 brush, to lightly set these little areas. You can use it to set any areas on your face as well. This is my Cover FX powder. So you can use it if you wanna strategically set any areas, if you wanna um, dust your bake away. Generally, I'll use the bigger brush though for that one. So this is the Sigma Spotlight Duster F37 brush. This is probably my favorite brush from Sigma ever. I don't have anything else like it. All the 3D HD Max, like these are the most unique brushes I've ever, ever used. They're actually all very unique. I don't have anything like any of them really, but I feel like I can just do so much with those two, like so, so, so much. Um, I could almost get away with doing like my full face, no eye makeup with just those two brushes. I just freaking love those brushes. Yeah, I use that to dust away to bake. I don't leave it there for too long because I'm dry. Um, but yeah, I kind of like spread it over my face like the excess powder and that works, you know, well enough to set everything. So that's how that looks. Generally, I wouldn't go in with too many more powder products. Only if I'm filming is when I use kind of all of the makeup. In my real life, I kind of go for more of this like, you know, natural kind of glowy cream base with like a little bit of powder to set. But I want to show you guys how to use all of the brushes. Uh, so we have this spotlight duster. Of course, you can use this for powder. If you like to set your whole face, it's going to apply a beautiful sheer amount where it's still gonna let some luminosity show through. So I love how these just kind of lightly apply a beautiful sheer layer. So you're going to not go overboard because there's nothing worse than going overboard because once you go overboard, it's hard to bring it back, but it's so much more easy to build up the color. It just works so much better. So I have my Sun Bunny, Sun Bunny, Sun Bunny bronzer from Too Faced. So we're just gonna swirl him in there, pat him off, and I'm using this as more bronzer as opposed to contour, just because that's how I usually use this product. Again, being a big brush, you could use it if you needed to bronze up your body, and it's not gonna take you too long because it's you know a relatively good size. So it's gonna work really well for that. You can use it as well for contour because it does come into more of a point and you can focus it under the cheekbones. Generally, if I'm going to contour, I'll use something smaller if I'm going to add contour as well. So we're gonna go with a high cheekbone highlighter brush and I'm going to use something really cool tone here. So it's gonna really create the illusion of that cheekbone. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, contour one because see it's nice and cool toned. So I start back at the hairline. Using a smaller brush just gives it that little bit more natural look as opposed to, you know, like a stripe of contour. I just don't really personally like that look. If you do, go for it, but that's just not my thing. I don't usually contour my nose, but I will pop whatever's left over just on the sides and underneath just to add a bit of dimension back to the middle of my face. But I don't know, I just feel like that looks a little bit more 
All right, so now for highlighter, you've got a couple options here for the look that you're going for. Now, what I like to do is take the bigger one and I'll use like a more sheer kind of natural highlight and we'll add like a bit of a general glow to our whole face. So you can see, you can kind of just like dust it. I'm gonna add a bit of highlight, just kind of all over. Just so you have like a bit more of an all over glow for the intense highlight to kind of blend into so it's not just like coming out of nowhere. Pop a little bit, you know, why not? Just chuck it everywhere. Now we're gonna go for our intense highlight though and I have to use my absolute favorite it's in my makeup bag from my photo shoot yesterday, Anastasia and Razzy Highlight. Guys, this combo is going to have you shook. And this is without any Fix Plus, any anything. I know, I just feel like this brush picks up so much more product and it applies it and distributes it because it's got like these shorter bristles kind of on the side and it's like a little bit dome-ish shaped. I don't know, guys, I don't know. I, I just really, really, really highly rate it. I don't see people talk about this brush anywhere near as much as it should. No wet brush here, just intense glow. Ah, under the brow bone too because I don't usually have my brows done yet and this is just where our intense kind of glow goes I make like this little weird hook here <laughs> I don't know I just like to put my highlight more there Cupid's bow I'll pop a little bit on my inner corner but in a little bit but this just applies so nicely I think because it's it's kind of duo fiber and it just picks up product so so well some brushes I have just don't apply it as intensely as I want. Sometimes the swatch will be beautiful or I don't know, but this just kind of puts it on and just like with the edges, the shape, it just kind of like blends out the edges. So it's intense and concentrated, but still diffuses and blends into the rest of your makeup. I'm just gonna put a bit of gloss on because I feel like my lips look a bit naked. <laughs> so this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. All time favorite gloss, guys. So, these are my two brushes for eyes. All right, we're gonna be using the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. It's just one of my go-tos, but I'm gonna show you just using these brushes, I think. Mostly just these brushes, I think. So we're gonna take Humble, so just like a matte base shade, and we're gonna use our E35 just to kind of buff this all over as our base. We're gonna take Toasty, so our warm transition shade. If you don't have this palette, use a bronzer. Just do these little circles, work it through. And see, so I'm looking down into my mirror. That means my eyelids are being held taut. And then I'm just gonna look straight ahead into my mirror. And I can see, I'm gonna bring that a little bit higher. So now with my eyes open, looking into my mirror, I can see where I wanna bring it to. I'm gonna use it for my lower lash line as well because it's not too crazy big. I wouldn't use it for like dark colors because it will, you know, be a bit more raccoony, but for a transition shade under the lower lash line, this size will be fine. Take our E70 brush and we're gonna take this shade Henna. So a matte brown, darker brown. We're gonna pop this on the outer V and the lower lash line. So I pop it here at the outer corner first, underneath. That way I can see what angle to bring it up here on the top. See how without even blending, it's almost kind of just like blended itself in as well. It just, it's just diffused nicely. Then we'll take our brush, no extra product from before, and it just kind of diffuses the corners and makes it, see it just blends in so seamlessly. So I'm showing you this first because a lot of people like that more just kind of classic smoky eye. So you can start with that and it's mostly done. Um, but if you want to turn it into a halo eye, you can focus the product more towards the tip of the point. So it just kind of pops in there and adds that extra depth so easily. It's gonna be quite a light halo eye today just because I don't want to go too crazy dark. I love me some like neutral kind of glam and I think this is just, you know, I want to make a classic Amiya look because, you know, today's my day making this big announcement, so. So that's only, I mean, we've got a base color, but mainly just two colors on the lid and just these brushes just blend it all together and it just looks so seamless and it got so much dimension in there. What you can do as well with the E70 is, I'm just gonna wipe off some of the excess color here using something like the Face Halo, with the microfiber kind of cloth is going to pull off the excess dark colors. Um, what you can do is, because it's basically a flat shader brush on the side, you can pick up a 
um, you know, normal base shade as well. So I'm going to take Bittersweet. I'm going to pop my liquid metal on top, but I just want to show you, you know, how you can use it as a base kind of uh, shadow brush as well. So you can just kind of pop it all over the lid under the lower lash line. So that brush isn't like precise enough if you wanted to cut your crease. So you'd want to use something like a cream color E58 brush. So it's just like a normal flat concealer type brush. And I didn't want to include something like this even though cut creases are so popular just because so many people have like a flat concealer brush already. And you can use any kind of flat concealer brush. You can even use like an angled eyebrow brush. Just something with a sharp edge just you know when you're going in with your concealer to cut it. So yeah, I didn't want to include something like that because I mean, I only really use concealer brushes like that, like those flat ones, to cut a crease. And not everyone's going to cut a crease every day. So it just didn't seem worth it. I wanted to use like stuff that's really multi-purpose, beginner friendly. And I just, yeah, I didn't think that that really made sense to me for using that. So I did not include it. I want to pop a bit of glitter on. This is Stila Kit and Karma. So I'm going to pop a bit of this in the center. Sometimes I'll use my finger to pat it out. Sometimes I'll just take my brush. I just like more of like a glitter explosion most of the time. Then we're going to highlight our inner corner. So you're going to use the point of this brush. And then just that shape, just kind of like, you know, you can blend it into the eyeshadow at the top. You didn't already have it. You know, you can just, well, let's pop a bit more. It's not going to hurt anyone. Just there, see that shape just kind of like blends it perfectly. And I literally just used these two brushes for this entire eye look. Bam. So I popped on my Nakia Joy Cosmetics Anna Lashes. I get asked about these all of the damn time. I feel like Nakia needs to rename the Amia Lash because I'm telling people like 20 times a day what they are. People are always asking, they're obsessed because they're just so beautiful and like spiky so you can still see eye makeup, love, love, love. I popped on a bit of the Love Trap lip pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. I put it over the top of the gloss and then patted a bit more gloss on just so I didn't get like too intense a lip line. And now I'm going to finish everything off with my favourite Fix Plus from MAC. You can see how much I've used, I've only had it a couple weeks and I don't wear makeup every day but I'm freaking obsessed with this stuff. So, set everything in place. Anyway, that is the finished look and me showing off all of my Sigma favorites. Guys, I just, I don't even know what to say. I haven't even filmed the intro at this point because I wanted to film it already. So I don't know, I hope I didn't repeat myself too many times. I just, I put off filming this video because I just didn't know what to say because it was just so exciting. I didn't want to say the wrong thing. I didn't want to sound stupid, but such is life really, you know? When can you ever really be prepared for something as incredible as this? I, I don't know. Um, I'm so incredibly blessed and happy and I, I'm just, oh my goodness guys, like thank you so much for all of your support and I hope that you guys enjoy my favorite set as much as I've enjoyed making it. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna cry. Last year, 2017, I class that as the worst year of my life. It was horrible. Like it was just on so many levels, health-wise, work-wise, um, just, you know, my personal self, like I just wasn't happy in what was going on and I just was, I had to move on and break, like, you know, from that mindset. And this year has already been so incredible. So, so that is my video. I, I, I cried, you know, I, I didn't think I would, like, originally I thought I would when I started filming, I didn't think I would. And then, you know, here we are, I've been crying, trying not to ruin my makeup because I do also have to go out <laughs> tonight. So, guys, thank you so much for this you know, you guys gave me this opportunity without you and without your support, you know, who am I to Sigma? No, I'm no one. So that's all on you guys and you supporting me and thank you so, so, so much. This is just incredible. It's so, so amazing. Thank you so, so much. I don't know how quickly the brushes will sell out. There's a limited quantity. If they sell out quickly, Hopefully we can bring them back for you guys. I don't know guys. Anyway, that that's it for today. Like I just, 
I think we have to be finished now because this is just such a long video. Go check over on Instagram as well for like, you know, some extra some extra things um, about the launch and everything. I'm going to be updating you guys on my Insta stories as well. Um, thank you. Just, just thank you guys. All right, and we'll um, chat to you soon. Bye.